This is a painting by artist Yorichi Nishikawa. If you have seen the recent films from Studio Ghibli, then you have most likely seen Yorichi's work, but you were probably too engrossed with the film to notice. But that's how it should be, because when Yorichi does his job well, what you sense is something more visceral, beyond just the immediate visuals. Yorichi began his career as a background painter at Studio Ghibli in 2004, with Howl's Moving Castle as his first credited film. And in between Ghibli's productions, he has worked as an art director and painter at other studios such as Chizu, Onik, Madhouse, and Orange, among others. But the bulk of his experience comes from Studio Ghibli on the films of Hayao Miyazaki. Although Yoichi has painted all sorts of settings, he is most often employed for his depictions of nature and especially his cloudscapes. In fact, this painting from The Wind Rises was selected by Miyazaki for the final shot of what was supposed to be his final film. When Yoichi was asked what were some of the most important things he had learned while working at the studio, Yoichi states, The background should always recede and not overshadow or outshine the character. A painting should never look too real or too much like a photograph. An artist once had to redo a painting because Miyazaki felt it was too perfect, too much like a photograph, and suggested he use more vivid colors to make it look more imaginative. Another key aspect of Ghibli background paintings are the locations and the emotional connection of the artist to them. Many of Yoichi's paintings are places he has visited for leisure or while researching for a film, so as to bring out the authenticity of a place. Even when he paints a fantasy setting, it is often inspired by aspects of reality. This painting, for instance, is a street that he lived near while studying English in San Francisco. This was a coffee shop he frequented. And this may look like a spirited away, but it was actually inspired by a lake he once vacationed near. This scene looks like it was from Porco Rosso, but it is in fact a painting based on Corfu, Greece, one of the locations that is said to have inspired the film's backgrounds. From his trips to Nara, Yoichi saw forests and herds of free-roaming deer. This is also one of the places that inspired Princess Mononoke. At the time of this recording, Yoichi is the sequence art director on Miyazaki's latest film titled How Do You Live? He manages a small handful of artists and also works closely with Miyazaki. Yoichi estimates that he will have completed around 200 paintings by the end of this production. The majority of background paintings and animation are now done digitally. Yoichi stated that Ghibli and Hosoda Studios are among the few left that still do it the traditional way. This is understandable because in digital, you can easily correct mistakes. There's no cleanup and no need to purchase and keep all these supplies. Without going too in depth, Yoichi's painting process is both Asian brush painting and Western style oil painting, a hybrid of wet on wet techniques to start and more opaque layering towards completion. Painters like Yoichi that have worked and trained at Ghibli are becoming harder to find. Similar to analog visual effects, analog background painting itself is in some ways a disappearing art form. And once studios like Ghibli stop producing films, the future of this medium remains to be seen. In this context, Yorichi's personal works are in some ways carrying on the tradition, while bringing some deserving attention to his craft. There is no distinct narrative associated with these paintings. Yorichi primarily means to entice us into the picture, and then invites us to interpret it however we like. When I stare at the work, I can't help but expect a character to walk into the scene at any moment as if I've just turned a corner and stumbled into an idyllic Ghibli film. There's a strange sense of familiarity to these images, like distant memories we long to revisit. We want to stroll in the garden, smell the flowers, hear the buzz of the cicadas, feel the summer breeze, and lay in the grass to just watch the clouds drift by. Thanks for watching. Please give us a like or comment if you enjoyed the video. If you would like to learn more about Yorichi's work, check out the info in the description section.